broken glass on the stairs and blood on the walls. This is the Cliff Edge Hotel, a place where pilgrims once rested while visiting Ethiopia's Lalibela. But the holy town and its shell-shocked residents are now struggling to recover. Lalibela, whose rock churches are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, has changed hands several times in a war between fighters from the northern Tigray region and government forces and their allies. The head of Lalibela's Industry and Investment Bureau says more than 20 hotels were looted and destroyed. Malek Alabel manages the Cliff Edge Hotel. He says remembering the past glory and seeing the rubble today makes him wish he'd never known what it was once like. I can't describe the feeling with words, he says. War broke out between the federal military and forces loyal to the Tigray People's Liberation Front in November 2020. Lalibela, located in Amhara close to Tigray's southern border, was first captured by the Tigrayans on August the 5th. The military and its allies retook the town at the start of December, only for Tigrayan forces to recapture it briefly on December the 12th before being pushed out again. The once prosperous town now lacks electricity. And it's not just buildings that carry the scars of war. Turungo Ambai says her daughter was raped and killed by a drunken Tigrayan fighter who burst into her home in December. After he kills her, he left the scene immediately. He was right on the exit of this farm. I was looking for an elderly man who would beg him for me to return her to me. When we arrived at the scene, we found her lying on the ground. I rushed to her and held her up. But she was already gone. I laid her back on the ground and cried. Police confirmed the death had been reported. Tigrayan forces could not be reached for comment. Getachu Raider, spokesman for the TPLF, has previously denied the targeting of civilians in areas under its control and has said that rape allegations would be taken very seriously.